Hello everybody and welcome on my channel. In today's video we are going to check out Altitude Hold in the new release candidate of Betafly 4.6. I'm going to walk you through on how to get this new feature running on your firmware, plus we are going to test it on the field using different settings to visually see how this new feature performs at this point in time. Before we start, we should remember that this new 4.6 firmware is still in development and if the position hold doesn't work properly now, surely it will have great improvement until the stable release will be available. I'm glad to see that Betaflight has implemented this feature that it was only available 9F before, is for me the cherry on the cake especially because imagine that you love the way your drone flies with the better flight settings, filter, PRD tuning, or you know how to tune your drone, or simply sometimes it would be handy to be able to hover the drone mid there while you relax your hands in the middle of a flight without switching to a different firmware to be able to do that. So if you want all of this and you would like to have the GPS navigation modes in your Betaflight firmware, so here there might be the solution. I'm so excited to try this out, so stick with me until the end as we are going to flash, configure and test the position hold feature. So let's get started. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use my SpeedyB Mario 5. I got the Walk Snail GPS Plus Compass module, the SpeedyB F405 V4 as a stack, and the Emax Eco 2 900kV motors. If you want to know how I build this drone, check my SpeedyB Mario 5 playlist, link in the video description. Now let's flash the new firmware on our flight controller. So let's get started. Here we are in the new web-based Betafly configurator. To reach it, just type app.betafly.com. So we are almost ready to flash the new firmware, but first remember to make a backup of your current configuration and save it on your PC. So this way you can upload into the new firmware or use it in case you want to get back to the previous one. Now let's get back, let's get the flight controller in DF4 mode by pressing and holding the button on the flight controller and then plugging the USB cable into the PC and then we jump onto the firmware flasher here. In this field we need to choose development, then here your board, in my case it's PDB F405 V4 and then choose the latest, the 4.6.0 firmware. Also remember that firmware built since already some time is customizable, which means that instead of getting everything you may or may not need in your firmware, you now get to choose only what you need according to the components you have on board, such as radio protocol, compass, OSD, HD, or OSD, SD, VTX if you run on analog, etc. So here, let's scroll down. As a radio protocol, I choose Crossfire. <laughs> Since I got a Crossfire receiver, if you have Express LRS receiver, you also have to choose Crossfire. If you use, for instance, DJI FPV remote control, you should choose SBUS just by clicking and go down in SBUS or all the type of protocols. As OSD protocol, I go digital as I have the O3 unit on board. In other option I get rid of Acro Trainer. Sorry. Okay. And let's now add the compass and the new feature of Betafly 4.6, the altitude hold mode. So just by clicking here we can add the magnetometer or compass, however you wanna call. And scroll up and altitude hold mode is here. And just make sure it, uh, it has been added here. Altitude hold mode, magnetometer, yep. In custom define, let's scroll down. We need to type pos underscore hold underscore mode. Pos 
underscore alt underscore mod. Then telemetry protocol is already included and moto protocol will live on this shot. And down here, select pull request or commit. We need to uh, type hashtag one three nine seven five. Okay. Hashtag sorry. Hashtag one three nine seven five. Yeah yeah. We are now ready to load and flash the new firmware onto our flight controller. While the firmware is being installed, leave a comment down below and tell me what FPV content you would like to see. Maybe a tutorial to help you out about something? Let me know down in the comment section and I'll be happy to give you an end as best as I can. Also, please leave a like and sus a subscribe if you are new to the channel and you like FPV related contents. The new firmware is now ready, so let's jump to quickly configure the drone. Okay, first thing we are gonna do is to calibrate the accelerometer and reset the Z axis. And then for the compass, we're going to calibrate the compass or magnetometer. So we click here and we need to perform a 360 degree rotation on all axes. That's the first step to calibrate the magnetometer. So let's go. Okay, the first step to calibrate the compass has been done. Now I'll jump onto the CLI and I get the mag magnetometer. And since I know which value I need to change to calibrate my compass, I'm gonna do now, and then I'll show you visually the way it works. So set mac alignment ya yeah, equal 2300, which is the equivalent of uh, 230 degrees, and then set Mac alignment roll equal minus 1800 which is the equivalent of 180 degree okay save and now let's jump and show you the way I estimate if the compass is off or how much off it is and that's how I calculate the amount of value I need to put into the CLI to make it work but before we do that we need to go into the OST tab and set the compass bar which is here okay so we can see on the OSD if the compass is pointing same direction to the compass on my phone, which is, I believe, reliable. Okay, now we are ready. Disconnect. Let's jump there. Okay, that's the way I do. I usually place the phone on top of the drone, aligned to each other, facing north, and now I turn the drone pretty much to the east and let's see if the goggles, the OCD shows east. Yeah, it does show east, so it means the compass is calibrated. If when you face north, the compass on the, on the OST is facing south, it means the offset is obviously 180 degree. 
as well. It needs to be cal calibrated 180 degree on the yaw axis. Okay, let's configure the position hold mode and then we are gonna test it. Back on Petaflight to set up the position hold, we just need to go on the mod, uh, in the mods tab and as suggested by Betaflight, both altitude hold mode and position hold mode needs to be on the same switch because they need to be activated at the same time. And that's what we are gonna do now. So on altitude hold, we click on add range, leave this one on, on auto and switch the navigation position hold. The switch I assigned for this position hold. And same thing we're gonna do on the position hold here, add range. Position hold. And here we are. Click on save and also Betafly suggests that the position hold works best if the GPS modules has a compass as well. Uh, however, if you don't have a compass with your GPS module, you can uh, still use the position hold but after you install it, after you flash with your firmware, you need to go into the CLI and you need to type POS underscore hold underscore without underscore Mac equal true. So this way you can use the position hold and altitude hold modes without the compass. So we are ready to test the drone now. So let's go into the field. Here I take off in acro mode and fly around a little bit to acquire some heading. Today was a bit windy as you may hear in the audio. I'm taking the drone where there is an opening and I have no trees above it in case the drone does not respond as it's supposed to be and also away enough from the ocean waves. I'm turning around and almost there to switch into a position hold in three, two, one. Here we are. The drone holds its position decently, even though it goes up and down quite often. But I was not expecting a perfect result at this point. Also consider, considering that the drone has not been tuned yet and the compass was not calibrated perfectly in the setup page as the USB cable was giving me a hard time to do that. Also the SpeedyB app doesn't work with the Betaflight 4.6 yet, otherwise I would have used it to calibrate the compass as I usually do. Alright, let me know down in the comment what you think and we will see you at the next one. Thanks much for watching. Bye-bye.